Oh, hey there, Michael Bay. Edil Primo Pizza and Wings here in Cape Coral. We're across from Cape Coral High School here, 5 to 8, every single Thursday. Good food, good fun. We'll be showing a family friendly movie in just a moment. Right now, uh, no one's here yet, so I'm going to show, with permission, how I did. Some people ask how I did the, the dinosaur that I did. So, this is from Darren Morgan, right? So, first thing is, it is a 260, the uh, 5. Finger, excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, so, two flower petals. This is going to be where the eyes go. So you want those about the same size. Okay, I got this from his shark. Then I'm going to come down four or five fingers and do a pinch. Okay. There it is. That's. This is the key to the whole thing. This is what you attach the teeth to. It changed the whole game for me. I've done an alligator with this. He did a. A dinosaur, he did a shark, he did a donkey, I did it, so yeah, so, uh, anything you want. Um, Austin did a clown with it, an evil clown with it. So, you're just gonna, gonna come down like that, and match that, come back up. Now what I do is the next two I do a little smaller on the outside, so those are the ones going farther back. So that's all of it, see, there's the teeth. Wrap that in there really good. And we're done with that. Oh, you know what? Let me get. Hold on, I gotta find my ring. I just ordered some of those too. So you can already see what's happening. Okay? So now, for the dinosaur head, I'm gonna grab another 260. Actually, I'm gonna do 350. I like them pudgy. I like my dinosaurs. Big pudgy. So, the uh, four, four to six feet. Okay. I'm gonna tie it in the top here like that. Alright. And then we're gonna go along the bottom and we're gonna squeeze in between that two from there. Make that a little bit skinnier like that. And then come up on the other side. Okay. Come around here, there's the snout. Well, I'm gonna do a cheek. I'm take a bubble, do a cheek. Okay. Make sure you twist it so the air doesn't go away. There we go. So I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna do a cheek on one side. And then I'm gonna come around. I hate when those pins twist and come undone. There we go. Like this. I'm gonna do a cheek on the other side. Go right here. Scoot that in there a little bit. See that bubble in there? You're just gonna wedge that in there. See that? There's the head of the dinosaur. I'm gonna get rid of the rest of that. The rest is really easy. Put that in, do it itself. So we got where our eyes are gonna go, our two cheeks. And we'll all the keys so we can get those. Alright. I pull it back, so I like mine to have a big old smile on it. See that? Isn't that awesome? It looks so much more animated, he has a little attitude. So that, that's the head right there. And now for the body, really simple. We're gonna grab the same color. Give a, I don't know, seven finger tail, give it a burp. Excuse me. Again, squeeze. Now, um, I got a piece sitting out the back there. I'm gonna, you know what, hold on. Let me get my, where's my bloody, where am I? Oh, it's right here. I wanna use my, this gut is from Dale Campbell. There we go. It's a cutter ring, but it's for fishermen, so it's adjustable. You can pull it on. You know what this is good for? Your fingers get swollen, you can loosen it up, you know. 
The other ones, uh, I haven't used them, but they're a set size, so I don't know if they're going to fit or not. This is always going to fit, and if my fingers swell, or if I lose weight, you can just adjust it. So, there you go. So now I'm going to get rid of uh, the rest of that in the back. What's that going in? Against this. So in the back between those two pinch twists, I'm going to... The teeth is what I got from Daryl. So, so see now there's, the, see how the head is? I'm gonna do a pinch twist right here. I'm gonna attach the arms. And it also makes the head go forward, see that? And then I'm gonna do a pinch twist right here. Right. So that's what I do. Right. The tail's really long, you can make that shorter if you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a stomach. And I use a, a different color or a different kind of green. So I'm gonna do golden rod, I guess. You don't need much of that. All you're gonna do is go up and down two times, three if you want. So right here, kind of hard to come back up. There's your belly. I'm gonna be sticking the legs through there too. So I guess if you want, you can do three, but then I'm gonna do two. I'm done with that. See, this is a restaurant work version. You can get a lot of fun here, obviously. But, you know. And then, you know, as you're building this, to show everybody what you're doing. Get the tails and power push. So there he is. Alright, now I'm going to give him some legs. I want his legs nice and flat. So we use a 350 for that. And what I do is I do a pinch twist. It's gonna go behind the foot. And I'm gonna do two big toes like that. There's one foot. Squeeze. Now I'm gonna come right. Uh, yeah, hi. So they got big legs, don't they? I'm gonna figure out about how big I want my legs. And then I'm gonna make these two toes, but I'm not gonna make the, I don't want the bubble in the box. I'm gonna have them shareable. That's how I always do on my feet. You can do what you want. Now I'm gonna connect these in the back to that one bubble for both feet. So I kinda get that kind of look. Here's from the side, from the front. You just missing those little hands, right? They got those little wee little. So then I can take uh, the scrap I had, yeah, or grab another one, whatever you like. I always do on all my cards three bubbles for little hands or whatever. Three little pinch twists. One, two, three, like that. I'm gonna give it a little bend or a shot twist like that. And go right there, and then I'm gonna duplicate that whole thing. I wanna bend it and then. Three little twists. One, two, three. That was that you? So, the first half. When I come through that bubble that's in the back, just making his head go forward. I cross them so they won't come out. I let them hang off to the side like that so you can kind of. <laughs> yeah. Now, I like red or I, red or yellow eyes. So, uh, if you want to get real fancy, you can um, use two rounds, put a light in each one, and time together, and then the eyes light up or whatever. But most of the time, all I do is I grab uh, whatever color the eyes are going to be. Okay. We're going to make a good sized bubble. Okay. We're going to tie that. Stuff. And I'm going to push the ear down because I want a little bit of, of that in between. And I'm going to match that. Get rid of that. Same size as the other one. Give or take. That. So now we have this going. So now I'm going to come out each side. So 
and which one you want to roll it. If you just try to push this through and you get friction, that's when they pop. So when you're putting another balloon, another one, you want to roll it. So I'm going to roll it out like that. For you to pop. That's the scraps are for you, aren't they? I just need another one to match the. See, it doesn't look as mean as one. You gotta do, you gotta do two. So I'm just gonna throw all that in there. Right? Like that. And if I stick it out the other side, like that. Did I make it bigger? I might have made it bigger. And I see some people put two pinch twists right there for like nostrils. I just do this. You can do what you want. I just make like, um, like a six on one side and uh, opposite on the other, like that. That's what I do. So the guy's got an attitude. He, he looks like he's smiling, but it looks like shark teeth, you know? Instead, I used to do the round ones up here, and it doesn't look as mean. Now, if you don't want it to look mean, do that. And that's how I do it. And this was influenced by Darren Mortimer right there, and I asked him, could I show that? He said, okay. So there you go. 